Hi guys, uh, yes, featuring wherever the fuck she is, she's, yeah, right there. Um, it's been a while, it really has been, and I have no explanation for it, and I'm not going to give you one really, because I can't really explain it, so, I'm just going to go ahead and say this, so, we're going to go ahead and throw up a new scene. What's up, motherfuckers? I have problems. So here is the start of my Railroads Online map. Railroads Online is pretty nice for what it is. But recently I wanted to attempt something so fucking weird that I was hoping it would work. Now, that's the thing, guys. This... This incredibly... Incredibly fucking ridiculous route that follows along here. Up and around the mountainside. Up and over... Around. And then it does the little curvy swiggly thing here. It goes down and around and comes to right to where my class 70 is right now. Where it has stopped because it can't go up the hill. I tried with my 10 long, 10, 10 car long, uh, Coltrane, I don't know if the caboose is adding extra weight to it, or if I'm going to have to do this train in two trips, or grab two locomotives. And I'd prefer not to grab two locomotives, but if we're going to, it looks like we're going to the freight depot, which is it's just north here and to the left. We've got, to put a long story short, let's get back into the game. So, we're going to go ahead and turn that off. Turn that off. And, oh, we should be fine. Uh, we'll turn that off because we're only recording game. Uh, so, we're going to go back into the game. Let me move that over here. Oh, there we go. So, here we are. We are at my rail yard. Wow, this is definitely recording at 60 FPS, but the game itself is not at 60 FPS. Oh, I forgot. Death Branch is Godspeed. Um, or not Death Branch. Uh, Beta Branch has Godspeed. I forgot about that. So, here we've got the Climax. As you guys can clearly tell, I named him after Henry. I named Edwin after, or Edward after, whatever the fuck. This is Edward. Um, and then the Cookie. Which I can't remember what bird he's in. Not in those two. I think my my porter my porter version two is around here somewhere. Unless I got rid of it by chance, which I doubt I did. There's the cookie, and he's uh, this is Jameson. His boiler pressure's still up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna raise the fire temperature and the water temperature. Um, I don't know what his, I think, yeah, he's almost full on water, but we're gonna open, we're gonna open the doors. And this is my shit attempt at a fucking... Roundhouse, but that's okay. We're gonna just push this into line, because that's what we need to do. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, 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 you're going too far. You're going too far. You went too far. Yeah, we don't have any engines in our sheds just yet. I plan to have double of each locomotive. 
and a few porters lying around just for shunting capabilities. But at the same time, when you don't have... Okay, I got $6,900. If I make this coal delivery, I should have more. But I gotta be able to get down and up and over to Coal Mine Hill to, in order to even do that order. So, you guys saw the bodacious route we've got set up. What we're going to do now is we're gonna hop in Jameson. And we gotta turn the boy around. We, we can't just send him. We have to turn him around. Your tender break on because I can't remember if you turned it on. No, not on. So we're gonna send you out. And where your water temperature and your fire temperature are above a certain range, your boiler pressure's gonna come off. Don't supposed to be turning around. Really should check on switch tracks real quick. I hated doing that just now, but we gotta bring him back over the hill to sing every song. Everything is set. Alright. Alright, Cookie. Let's go. Put on your front marker lights. Alright, oh, I forgot. You you don't have the parts to put the marker lights on. You put all the lights. Lights on the back are set red. Put those lights on. Drop off a whole bunch of coal here earlier. Uh, and there's there's the current wire that he's scheduled for a deal with the bed at the same time, and I don't have time to figure it out. I love that kind of thing. I turned off your regulator, why are you still... 
You're set perfectly fine. You should be set okay too. I have not traveled on this route the entire time, so this entire section is new. I was trying to make a two track mainline through here, and I didn't get a chance to, so yeah. I still want to make a two track mainline, but as of right now, just through this valley, there's only one track. I wanted to keep the two-track main line on the bottom of the map as much as possible, but it is very clear that did not end up happening. So we're gonna pop up the cookie. We're gonna show off this portion of the lot, which I have traveled on maybe once or twice. It has not changed the entire time. I built the culture. and I built the entire bottom half of the map. Or not the entire bottom half of the map, but the iron works down, which leads up to the oil finally. Um, We could not do that entirely. So. Maybe that curve might need to be worked on. I don't know. I'll I'll get to it eventually at some point. But as it's very clear that it needs to be re reworked, I need to put the brake on him. But this route. This route was conceived over the fact that I have seen so many cliffside railways in my time of being on the internet. So I was thinking, oh, this could have worked in American 3 foot narrow gauge. They did the shit in narrow gauge already. Why wouldn't 3 foot American narrow gauge be able to do it? I don't know. Why can't I couple you up? There we go. We ain't gotta send you. You're in reverse. You need to be in reverse. Oh, you need to be in full throttle. And we're gonna keep sending you up the hill. And really, guys, it's... This game is simple to play. Is it tedious? Yes. Does that bother me? No.
this curve is a little sharp. I got scared for a little bit when building this. I was just afraid something bad would happen. You know, we made it down just fine. We had no issues. See, there he is. There's, there's number four for Donnie. There's the troops, and we are, we are not 90, but about 75% of the way down to collect the class 70. Um, as you can see, there's 10 coal hoppers there. I knew that the new coal hoppers, they'll hold just as much, but at the same time, it'll be smaller. So whenever those come out and get released into the game, I think we should have any issues. Class 70, what we'll do is, is when we hook it up, fire in this one because we left it alone for so long. Brakes were that were on. Oh, brake that was. And the cookie should. We should open up the rag, rag on the cookie. So we're getting pulled down the hill, question mark? We are getting pulled down the hill. That's not good. Come on. Oh, right. I forgot. The cookie just proceeded to get dragged. Oh, we, I just got dragged down the hill.
approaching our final descent into the oil as we pass the plane over the bridge here. Well, that went lovely. Anyways, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get a save file in here. See if we made it to the bottom side of the map. So I want to get back in there. Uh, all right. Uh, we're gonna turn. So, and I'm going to, so, yeah, um, this game is fun, I enjoy it, and being able to do what I did today made me feel happy. Um, that was a very, a, that was an hour and 12 minutes ago, I highly know, I'm going to get that done. Anyways, but that happened, and I built that route with nothing in mind. I just wanted a faster way to the coal mine, and that was how I did it. Now, I definitely gone about some different things in this route. Absolutely. I definitely could have not made it 3% the entire way up, and then it proceeded to backfire in my face as it went up to four to five percent as you got on the bridges. That's why the class 70 stopped when it got to the, the bottom of that, um, it was the bottom of, oh yeah, the bottom of the stone bit right there before the first curve to go back up towards the mountain. And I didn't mean for that to happen, but that entire route, it's, it's a big route. And it takes just, it takes an hour just to get it down, or it takes half an hour just to get from the coal mine there. And that's just with class 7 and the coal mine together. Um, and then we're gonna do this on the next page. Yeah. guess that's it for now guys um i'm gonna keep this in the beginning of it when we talking to you guys um at the start of the 5th of september we are going to start with the minecraft 1.19 let's play um definitely want to record an episode a pre a pre-start episode just so i can explain how it's, how we're gonna do it and then that will release on friday the 9th then the weekend of the 10th, I have a, my big project. I'm going back to be recording that for a little while. 
So we're going to record the next uh, two episodes for scheduled for two Fridays. Or three episodes scheduled for 9th, 16th, and 23rd. And then a video on Saturday might happen, Saturday the 17th. I haven't decided if I'm going to do one-off episodes or whatever. So, yeah. Um, I know I need to take time to unload the coal that is in these hoppers here. I don't know when that happens. Um, I definitely want to do another modeling video about an engine that I worked on. So, we'll definitely see another one of those. So, yeah. Um... this fucking chair i need a new one um but yeah thank you guys all for watching and i hope you guys have a great weekend um i'm recording this as of the 20 the 27th of august about a week or less than a week before i was due to record this episode because i was going to edit it on friday and then release on saturday also, next next paycheck, I will be buying a new Xbox, and with that, I will be buying an Elgato, so therefore, I can use some money on the Xbox. Yeah. Alright, guys. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I'll see you all in the next video.